Once you burn a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red reading clock. So everyone in the village called her little red reading hood. One morning, little Red Reading Hood asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother as it had been a while. Signs they had seen each other. That's a good idea. Her mother said, so they packed a nice basket for little, for little red reading, riding hood to take to her grandmother. When the basket was ready, the little girl put on her red cloak and Kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, go straight to grandmother's house. Her mother quieted, don't dawdle along the way, and please don't talk to stranger. To stranger. The words are dangerous. Don't worry, mommy, said little Red Riding Hood. I will be careful. But when little Red Riding Hood noticed some lovely flowers in the woods, she forgot her promised to her mother she picked a view watched the beautiful flight about for a while listened to the frogs croaking and then picked a view more little red riding hood was enjoying the warm summer day so much and didn't notice a dark shadow a bright out of the forest behind her suddenly the wolf appeared beside her what are you doing out here little girl the wolf asked in a voice as friendly as he could master i am on my way to see my grandma who lives throughout the forest near the brook little red riding hood replied then she Realized how late she was and quickly excused herself, rushing down the path, the path to her grandmother's house. The wolf, in the mean, meantime, took a sh- short tact. The wolf, a little out of breath from running, arrived at grandmother's and knocked lightly at the door. Oh, thank goodness there. Come in, come in. Was worried sick that Something had happened to you in the forest, said the grandmother, thinking 
that the knock was her granddaughter. The wolf let himself in, but Granny didn't have time to say another word before the wolf gobbled her up. The wolf left out a sight fight barb and then poked through granny's wardrobe to find a nice gown that he liked he he added a frilly sleeping cap and for good mincher I did it some of granny's perfume behind his pointy ears. A few minutes later, Red Riding Hood knocked, knocked on the door. The wolf jumped into bed and pulled the covers over this noise. Who is there? Who is, who is there? He called in a cackly voice. It's me, little red riding hood. Oh, how lovely. Do come in, my dear. Croaked the wolf with little red riding hood entered the little car. She, sh- she called scar. She called scar. Silly recognize her grandmother. Grandmother, your voice sounds so odd. Is something the mother? She asked. Oh, I just have touch of a cold. Squiked. The wolf. I did it. Then a cut at the end to prove the point. But grandmother, what big ears you have, said little Red Riding Hood, as she edged closer to the bed. The better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf. But grandmother, what big eyes you have, said little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, my there, replied the wolf. But grandmother, what big teeth you have, said little Red Riding Hood hair, voice quivering slightly. The better to eat you with, my there. Roy, Roy, read the wolf and he leapt out the bed and began to chase the little girl. Almost too late, little Red Riding Hood realized that the person in the bed was not her grandmother, but a hungry wolf. She ran across the room and throw, throw the door, shouting, help wolf, as loudly as she could. A woodsman who was chopping logs nearby heard her cry and run towards the cot as, fa- as fast as he could. Her Grabbed the wolf and made him spit out the door. Out the door. Grandmother, who was a bit frazzled by the wall, experienced but still in one piece. Oh, grandmother, I was so scared, so bit, so bit. Little Red Riding Hood. 
I will never speak to strangers or tow bell in the forest again. There, their child, you have learned on important lesson. Thank goodness you shouted loud enough for this kind woodsman to hear you. The woodsman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep into the forest where he wouldn't bother people any longer. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother had a nice lunch and a long chat. Thank you.